The Savings Curator is part savings planner, part savings tracker. When you're attempting to save for something, you might have a tendency to focus exclusively on reducing your expenses or exclusively on generating more income. The Savings Curator encourages you to look at both avenues so that you can maximize your saving potential. Step one is to set a savings goal for the year and write down your primary reasons for saving. There's also space to include a deadline, which can help keep you focused and accountable. Here are some examples. I want to save $10,000 by the 30th of June, 2024 for a new car. I want to save $20,000 by the 31st of December, 2024 for a house deposit. Step two is to brainstorm practical things that you can do to increase your income and reduce your expenses. You can see here that we've carved out space for you to do that. You can list ideas and do some quick sums in the blank space to add up how much you can make. Some examples might be selling clothes on eBay, selling furniture you no longer use on Facebook Marketplace, picking up more shifts, freelancing. And in terms of reducing your expenses, you might cancel subscriptions. You might place a limit on non-essential expenses. When brainstorming ideas, just be sure to stay realistic. For example, picking up more shifts might sound good in theory, but just consider the roll-on effect before committing to each idea. You definitely don't want to burn yourself out or compromise your well-being in the process. If you turn to the next few pages, you'll see we've included income and expense trackers for January through to December. The reason why we've included this is because based on the feedback we received and the polls we did, most of you said your income and expenses vary from month to month. So we've included the monthly trackers for a more accurate overview of your income and expenses. This is designed to help you stay more mindful of your spending habits. Step three is to set a monthly target. Your target and your reasons for saving may be the same each month, but setting the intention and writing it down at the beginning of each month can encourage more mindful spending. You're more inclined to think twice about certain expenses if your savings goal is top of mind. So while it may feel repetitive, it can help you stay focused and accountable. Step four is to log your income and expenses as they occur each month. For larger expenses like car registrations and rent, you might like to log them immediately. For expenses like groceries and petrol and eating out, you might prefer to wait until the end of the month and then go through your statements to log those expenses. You might also like to categorize your expenses. For example, one category could be beauty, which might include getting your nails done and getting your hair done. Step 5. Calculate your monthly total by subtracting total monthly expenses from total monthly income. This is how much you have saved this month. For example, if your total monthly expenses work out to be $3,000 and your total monthly income is $5,000, then you have saved $2,000. Step six, subtract your monthly savings goal from your monthly total, the amount you've actually saved. This will tell you if you have achieved, exceeded, or fallen short of this month's target. For example, you might have saved $2,000, but your target was $2,500. This means you are $500 short of your savings goal. In this scenario, you would log negative 500 at the bottom of your monthly tracker. Still an awesome effort, but it's worth reflecting on whether A, your target was unrealistic, or B, you could have increased your income and or reduce certain expenses. That is what the prompts on the first page of the Savings Curator are there for. It's a great exercise to kick off your savings plan, but it's also a great exercise to come back to when you find yourself falling short of your monthly savings goal. Lastly, don't forget to track your progress by shading in the progress bar. You might like to divide your annual goal by 10 and write those amounts in each block so that it's easy to track. It's really satisfying and rewarding to shade in. The visual display of your progress will add an extra layer of motivation and keep you on track to achieving your 2024 savings goal.